Lawmakers in the Senate have again passed Nigerian Peace Corps Establishment Bill four years after President Mohamed Oba rejected the proposed legislation. The passage of the bill followed the consideration of a report by the Committee on Interior during plenary. Senator Suleiman Sadiq, in a presentation on behalf of the committee, explained that the panel consolidated the Nigerian Peace Corps Bill and National Unity Corps Bill into one for ease of advancing its work. Reacting to the passage of the bill, National Commandant of Peace Corps of Nigeria, Dixon Akko, applauded the Nigerian Senate. He added that the National Assembly had further demonstrated its commitment to creating jobs for Nigeria's teeming youth. The core mandate of the functions of the Corps among others, are to develop, empower, and provide gainful employment to Nigerian youth in order to facilitate peace, community services, volunteerism, nation building, maintainer of discipline at all levels of educational institutions in the country and related matters. The bill was given legislative support and it will be of great benefit to Nigerian youth as many of them will be gainfully employed through the establishment of the call. A bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Peace Corps to facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services, neighborhood watch, and nation building, and for related matters 20 to and two third in taken, and this bill is also passed. You can bear with me that most of the youth being, uh, are being arrested today for one crime or the other, though some may have the clear intention of going into crime, but some are pushed into this act. So when there is an avenue for this youth now for to be preoccupied, it will enable them to contribute to the peace and security of our fatherland. We are not saying we are going to do more than what the people there are doing now, but at least the complementary role the officers and men of Peace Corps will play, especially in educational institutions that, that we do know and we have it on record that before the invasion and attack in school and kidnapping of students, we alerted the government at various state levels and we have the document to prove. So if Peace Corps can be asked to take charge of the school and the neighborhood watch, I think the conventional security agency will not be over, over belabored with as what we are witnessing today.